resolutions back in mid-summer to get all the requirements of the PAAA as, as adopted. I'd say most of the changes here are changes where we just brought those resolutions into our guidelines and procedures. Um, we also have done things to try to be more flexible and identify what it is we can do. For example, on page 7, um, there's a section dealing with our agency fee, what we charge people for applications. And again, I'm sure the board knows the fees that we collect and our budget is based upon non-taxpayers' funds. We don't, we don't operate on taxpayers' funds. We operate on the fees that we charge to applicants. And we have a new section three where if we're going to vary, we're going to decrease the amount of fee charge. We have a standard, so to speak, for why we're doing what the criteria it is. It gives, it gives a more concrete, more, um, I think, transparent and I think more clear way how we exercise our discretion. That's right. And then the beginning thing when you do it with, with the section that was covered. That's correct. Uh, other things we've done for me, on page 9, for example, we have a clear record retention policy. It's a seven-year policy. We keep our records, so this way we're able to identify specifically what it is we're keeping and why we're keeping them. Um, another example on page 11, again, these were all highlighted. Um, we have situations, for example, in pilots where people that have been given powers by the IDA don't want the pilot to end for obvious reasons. And sometimes we have to go to court, sometimes we have to fight over it. We're now making part of our guidelines that if someone doesn't return the property to the taxable status, it's at their expense to get it back there, not our expense. So those are things that we've really picked up over the years of been doing this. And again, uh, there, there's no cost items in our, in our guidelines here. It's mostly uh, bringing into formalized practice what we're doing. And again, everything's been highlighted information and I'd say really 90% of the changes here again what we adopted previously we just making that part of our guidelines. I would ask if those are acceptable to the, to the board that a motion be made to approve as amended our bylaws, our policies and procedures and our guidelines. One quick question Dennis. Uh, a lot of what's uh, and I was taking this some time is that the state because of the new law the state has actually been uh, doing their own interpretations and sending those to the different municipalities. Oh, do we expect that there will still be a significant amount of that, or have they pretty much gone through the... We're getting it, uh, bits and pieces, and a lot of what was envisioned is not even set up yet. So what we're trying to do is really, IDA council throughout the state are trying to form some consensus as to what really should be the best practices. There have been no court interpretations at all with regard to the PAAA. And so that's going to make a change, too, in what we do. Um, and there's agencies that the, uh, the legislation is supposed to have set up to give us guidelines. I think we've got one guideline right now. So we have no best practices structure? Uh, not that's been formally given to us as an advisory opinion or that which is adopted by the legislature or that which the courts have done. We're, we're, we're following the exact text of the legislation, which usually is the best practice, yeah. but sometimes there are... But then, you know, as you want to post so we can expect that as time goes on. Correct. We'll probably have to update this as time goes on, as as interpretations come down from New York State or as challenges to the courts come down from New York State. I think it's fair to say by the end of this year. So it's going to be a living document, yes. and, and so it's subject to. to right, and I, I think and by so the. been talking, Alvina and I have been talking about sort of culling through because we get these emails and we get information and advisories, they're called, on, on a fairly regular basis. So working in ways to incorporate everything to get the board information that they need and we're trying to figure out, you know, what you need and sort of cull it down for you and get to what you need. Alvina went to a seminar last week to try to get a little bit of a handle on it. So I think it's a, it's overall, it's sort of an industry, if you will, objective to get their hands around this. And so people are trying to have the classes and get the information out to people. And um, I'll be just trying to be, trying to get to be the expert, right? Yeah. Are we going to be required as board members to uh, go to these classes? Yes, there is an attendance requirement that will take place. Uh, they're just developing the classes right now, but we'll let you know more about that. When a particular class is developed, and you think it will be helpful. When is the time frame for this to, uh, 
that's still, you know, I know before the mid-2007 is when it's uh, expected. We, we would hope uh, early next year, early 2007, have a, a good program. There's already one or two programs that are being offered, but we don't really think they're, I don't think they really have a handle on what the issues are yet. I mean, how can you really have a program and talk about the PAAA if there's been no interpretations, there's no, no policy set by the legislature or by, I should say, the administrative agencies. But we you expect that sometime in 2007, uh, I think probably uh, no one expect it. Classes it's an all-day class in June. I think they have them on Saturdays uh, usually, but uh, it, there's no requirement as to how many hours. Uh, but uh, the one, uh, the two that I've seen are uh, uh, 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock classes. Then you'll have to figure out what to do with one day. <laughs> <laughs> What's idle hours to fill in? And as the mayor also indicated too, and, you know, we'll probably have by this December almost everything we can possibly suggest as best practices. For example, even on our personnel policies, we're getting other, as we talk about PAAA throughout New York State, we're getting other suggestions how to improve it, how to make it more economical. So I'll be back to the November or December, most likely some further suggested changes, but I think this is a bulk of my year. This is not the only agency, right? It's this is other all IDAs agencies. throughout New York State. Is it other agencies? Yes, all public that? authorities. Um, and there's a question of what, what constitutes that unequivocal <coughs> we are one, as far as the statute is concerned. Yeah. City of Yonkers. The IDA also started, besides Rich Hill, started the Yonkers Alexander Street. We've been successful with regard to that and having that sold to people that are developing the waterfront, the Fidelco, uh, Streeter, um, Capelli Group. Um, on N Valley, you know, N Valley was a situation where we had a part of the city which no one else in the past had ever wanted to touch. You had no progress at all. Um, I'm pleased to say that uh, there's been a uh, an entity identified, Mr. Cotter's group that had I Park at um, right down here in the Kawasaki building. It right now is um, is in negotiations and hopes to close the N Valley building. Uh, the bottom line is that if everything falls into place, it hasn't happened yet. Uh, it will be a situation where I think will be another success for the N Valley Technology Center. I mean, again, that's not the IDA. The IDA has three parts of this particular component. First of all, we have a lease with. Uh, in Valley, which is part of Mr. Cotter's assumption of that particular uh, building, we would assign and he, we would assign it. He would assume it. There's a no cost involved to the idea at all. He simply takes over this particular um, uh, building. The second part of it. What we were saying all of these Absolutely correct. Right. Identical. No further payments. <coughs> zero cost item to the idea. The second issue is that right now there's a. a uh, pilot agreement to go to 2016 at the IDA, uh, because the IDA 